Laura Albuquerque Public Schools is going to take licensed staff who are not in the classroom and put them back in. It's a plan the teachers union says it could support. With a new school year just around the corner, Albuquerque Public Schools finds itself facing another teacher shortage. The district's website shows it's short nearly 200 teaching positions from special ed to high school. Not a new problem for APS, but the tactic the district is taking to address it is. The fact that this administration is creating an innovative and new idea that could be better for kids is a good is a good thing. Albuquerque Teacher Federation President Ellen Bernstein says licensed personnel will be asked to leave administrative post and head back to the classroom. She says that could be anyone from a librarian to assistant principals. Bernstein says they could fill the spot for a maximum of 17 workdays or until a new teacher has been hired or a substitute could be brought in to fill the spot. But the union says there is a concern that when teachers leave their office jobs and go back into the classroom, some of their office work could pile up. The union wants the administration to be understanding to staff in that position. This is their boss that is asking them to do this. So I'm assuming their boss will make allowances for other things that don't get done while they're in the classroom working with kids. It's unclear if staff will get to volunteer to fill these spots or if the decision will be made at the district level. It's also unknown specifically who may be asked to fill in. Now, because the news of this just came out yesterday, Bernstein says she hasn't heard a whole lot from teachers on exactly how they feel about these changes. Laura?